Hello, my fabulous Jazzercise friends. How are you today? Happy Monday. So, welcome to our little health, I don't wanna call it a challenge, just kind of like more our accountability um, with each other of, of trying to step it up a notch, right? We work out a lot because we love our Jazzercise, the best workout in the entire world, best sport, best place to meet people, best everything, right? So outside of um, Jazzercise, it really does make a difference what we're putting into our body. And I'm um, a very big believer, and you've all been to my class, that you, know, you should feel confident and sexy and powerful and strong. And you need to feel that from the outside in, inside out, and really, gosh, I want to see you walk taller. I want to see your posture better. And you feel so good because you're fueling your body top to bottom, bottom to top, inside out, um, all the different ways. So I am um, so ready for the sun to come out. I'm so ready to be at the beach in a bikini because that's my favorite thing to wear. But I don't feel like my body's bikini ready. Um, as I'm getting older, I'm finding it's harder and harder to, to get where I want to be. So I know that I need to make some changes in my eating habits. So um, I eat very clean. I am vegetarian, um, I eat more pescatarian. I'll eat fish maybe once every couple of weeks. And on occasion, I'll have eggs. I've been eating them too much lately and I can kind of feel it. They used to fuel me and now they don't make me feel so good. Um, so you really gotta pay attention to your body. I'm big into listening to my body because even though I don't eat meat right now, that doesn't mean I would never eat meat again. I'll be surprised if I ever do. But um, if my body's craving something, I feed it. I don't crave a lot of sugar. I do crave wine. That's my favorite. So that's my weakness. So I typically have a glass or two of wine every single night and that is something that I'm changing through this. So wish me luck. And you know what? Probably like at the end of the month when I celebrate how good I did, I'm probably going to celebrate with a glass of wine. <laughs> I have issues, right? So who knows? Maybe I'll feel so good that I won't want to. So breakfast. I don't eat. So let me start over. I do all my prep work, especially for breakfast and lunch, and then dinner, I have a plan. I kind of know, and I have everything there, so I make sure that I have it. When I go shopping, it's either just for me or my guy and I, which he'll be home next week, yay. Um, so we don't, there's not a lot, right? So I have to be careful how much I buy, and so typically when I buy something, so if I buy mushrooms, I know that I'm gonna get two meals out of this, two things that I'm gonna cook. If I buy, um, Gosh, anything that I get, a bell pepper. I need to have a couple recipes that have bell pepper in it. So I do try to kind of think that way and I'll talk you through some of this. Um, so I'm gonna just go through breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is what I'm planning on eating this week. I'm not gonna eat out at all this week, which typically I like to, but I really wanna get on track. Um, and I am excited because my guy's coming back next week and he has been eating out since he's kind of been living in a city that's not his home. And like, he's really excited to get back into the swing of things too. So I'm gonna be motivated the next couple weeks. So breakfast, I don't eat a lot of breakfast. And when I do, it's normally around 11 o'clock, 11.30. Um, but I like something that's easy, couple bites that sustains me. Like I said, I do um, like eggs every once in a while. So sometimes if I'm really craving that hit of protein, I will pre-make some um, egg salad. I don't put mayonnaise in it. I use just mustard, because I love mustard and salt and pepper. And then I have these great little jars. This is a unique size. They're hard to find, but boy, do I buy them when I find them because they're the perfect single size for everything that I'm showing you. I use these all the time. I don't eat out of plastic. I don't store anything in plastic. So, and what's really great is these lids, as they get rusted, you just toss them and you can go buy new lids and the glass just stays the same. You can heat things up in the glass. So it's just, they stack up nicely in your, um, in your fridge. So, the egg salad, I rarely eat bread. I do love this bread, good seed bread, um, thin slice. They're small, small little pieces of bread. Sometimes I'll have the egg salad. Sometimes I will do um, avocado toast, okay, with some avocado, and I love to put a little tomato on it and a little salt and pepper, um, so I'll have that. I also recently, every once in a while, I like to have some Greek yogurt, and I'll put some Blueberries, and I'm not a huge blueberry fan, so it's small portions that I can eat, but they're so good for you, and I know that I feel good when I eat them. So these are organic blueberries. So this, I won't just eat for breakfast. This would be too much. I'd never get through it. So I'll tell you later what I'm gonna do with it. And then I just go to Sprouts and get these tiny little bags. This is like, I think, 80 cents. And it is um, a really yummy, like a coconut granola. And so I'll have that on top of the 
yogurt. I'm also going to make, I like to make overnight oats and I'll just use some organic almond milk and the oats. And then I'm gonna be posting some recipes, some links to recipes. And for this one, I do, it's a chai spiced mix that I do on top when I put these in the, in the fridge when I pre-make it. And again, in these jars, perfect size. I even put the blueberries on top because I like it when you heat it up, how they kind of melt down a little bit. So um, those are breakfast items. So lunch, what I will do is I will figure out like whatever vegetables I have on hand. So right now I have tomatoes, avocado, carrots, spinach, mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna cook some lentils. I have some organic green lentils. And I will chop everything up and have it pre-made and have it in these little jars individually. So a jar full of carrots, jar full of lentils, jar full of diced up mushrooms, asparagus, whatever it is, and have those stacked. And when I'm ready to have lunch, I just grab my lettuce, wash it, put it in a bowl, and then I just dump whatever items I want on top. And I can add, like sometimes I'll have a little bit of feta cheese um, or a little Parmesan on top. And then I love to put nuts on top. So again, I buy these little bags of nuts so that depending on my mood, so I have pistachios here, um, pecans and hazelnuts. Each one of these I think was like a dollar, a dollar 29. So it's just a great way to kind of add a little bit of protein to your salad. Microgreens I really love. They go for one of my dinner recipes. So I couldn't eat this whole thing. So I'll be putting it on the salads. I'll be putting it on all kinds of things. And then spinach, same thing too. So I get all that ready. I already have the dressing pre-made. Easy, boom. I do also like veggie sandwiches. Um, so I will take my thin sliced bread, toast it. This is my favorite. So I buy just little things of this. This is from Sprouts. It's olive tapenade. So I put it on one side. I will... Put some avocado on the other side. I'll slice some tomatoes. Gosh, I'll just put anything. If I have cucumbers, I'll put cucumbers on it. I like some bell pepper on it. I love pickles. So I always put pickles on it. And, and then I can even use some of the microgreens. I can use some of the spinach on top so that I'm getting a little bit of everything. I even like sunflower seeds on it sometimes. So that's a great option too. And easy to eat, small, compact, eat it fast. I do take it to the beach sometimes and just wrap it up in some foil and and eat it right out of the um, right out of there, so it's not a huge mess. So I'm trying some new things for dinner. I normally cook my own recipes. I normally like once a week. I will I will play around with the recipe. Or go to Pinterest, which I love Pinterest. So I have some links here for you of some different things. But here's some things that I'm making this week, and all of them I'll have leftovers, so I'll have them for lunch too. So actually, I have a lot of food here, so I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this. I but now I'm thinking I went a little crazy. So Moroccan chickpea quinoa salad. So I have some quinoa and garbanzo beans, which are like amazing. So um, I'll be mixing that up and that has a Moroccan spice to it and the microgreens go on that, all kinds of good stuff, recipes posted. Zucchini meatballs with sauce. Now I did buy some organic um, pre-made sauce. Sometimes I make my own sauce, but there's so many great ones. And like this one doesn't have a lot of bad stuff and it's all organic. So um, this I'll do, but the zucchini meatballs are so good. And what's nice about those is I can make them and you can just go to your fridge and grab them. So it's not like I'm a huge, I'm not a snacker. I don't think of myself that way, but if I can eat just a little bit, sometimes I'm just hungry and I just want a little bite of something. So they're really a great thing to have for that. You don't even have to heat them up. A lot of times I don't mind eating things cold or hot. Greek zoodles, I love zoodles. So I eat them almost every week. So again, I can't use this all with those meatballs. So one night I will do, um, I'll take my zoodler, make noodles with that. I have some feta cheese that I'll be able to use and then I'll slice up some olives and that's perfect with that and easy. The blueberries, I'll still have extra blueberries left. So I'm gonna get some, one night this week or maybe over the weekend, I'll buy a piece of salmon and all I do is saute some blueberries in a tiny pot of butter, teeny tiny, like not even a teaspoon, some sherry and some salt and pepper and it melts down and it is so good over salmon. So I'll use the last of those for that. This is a fun one. I've made this before. It's going to sound crazy. Celery root puree with beets, organic beets on top. So I roast the beets, chop them up and roast them. And then this, I actually peel, cut up, boil it for a while, kind of like you would mashed potatoes, really, it's kind of the same thing as mashed potatoes, but it's even creamier and lighter, and it's so good. The first time I made it, I thought, am I even gonna like this? And it was crazy good, and I felt satisfied, 
but not too full. And so I did grab a couple bunches of beets because I'll use some of them for my salads too. I'll roast them. Um, but again, this is easy. Recipe is posted. And then I am going to make, um, since I have so many beets, a buckwheat. And here's some buckwheat. Buckwheat. I wanted to get this out of the bins and they didn't have it. Oh, I'm looking at them. They're like little teeny hearts. Oh, that's just the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. I love when things like that happen. So cute. Okay, back to business. Buckwheat and... Um, salad. So that's going to go over the rest of my spinach and my microgreens. I can put nuts on top. So there's so much fun that I'm going to do here. So many things that I'm going to make. Hey, I don't have a sweet tooth, so I don't really have sugary things for you. But if you have questions on those, I do, um, I do coach a few people and, and do have some great things that I can share with you. And maybe that's something we'll even do later in the month is come up with. So I hope you're excited. I hope you want to try some new things. There's um, instructions on what you can do and I'm just going to encourage you um, I'm planning a zoom for us where you can log on and we can see each other and kind of talk about what's going on I have a little presentation for you but hey I'm here for support I'm here to hear your ideas um, take a before picture do it today wearing something like a bikini or something or a workout outfit really right because those are tight on our body and then let's see where we're at at the end of the month because you're going to be taking all those classes trying to get that tote and you're going to be eating all this healthy food and not drinking so much wine and we're all going to feel so amazing and confident and it's just going to be a magical summer so i will see you this week in class let me know your thoughts on all this and i love you ladies Mwah.